Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Olumide Ogundemu from Lecrosoft Technologies. Um, this is actually my first video. So please, um, before I get started, I want you to please subscribe um, to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell beside it in order to get um, my updates all right now in this video i'm going to be talking about a pharmacy and store management sales and inventory system developed with um, microsoft access right with this software you can um, do so many stuff like you can um, manage um, many order for one customer you can also track your profit and loss you can print a tama and pos receipt and you can also um manage your reorder level and it also um fetch out products based on expiry date that is to say 30 days before the expiry date yeah you can do lots more with this software so right now i'm going to click on the software to get started as you can see this is the software it is having the same icon on the desktop just like all other software on my desktop as you can see it's having the same icon on the on the desktop so let me click on it to get started yeah as you can see now it um pops up this um welcome welcome um form in which you can also um disable it if you want by clicking on this arrow you can enable it and also what disable it and you can also do that in the what in the settings this software is also built with a voice command that can accept voice input and can also read you what you can read a what a text for instance if i want to read all this text that is there now i can easily read it by clicking on the read button let's let's test it out Welcome to Microsoft Sales and Inventory Management System. Use this Microsoft software to help track information about your store sales and inventory. Use this Microsoft software to help track information about your store sales and inventory. You can also generate sales invoices, income and expenses, new products, details, and manage customer requests, track products close to expiry date, manage your stock level and reorder, manage out of stock products, track profits per product for overall profit on all products. Feel free to explore the links wow. below to learn more. As you can see now, it is built with what a voice command that can accept the voice command and can also be able to read the word the text as a voice. All right, now I'm going to click on the get started button to get started. All right. Please provide your login details. Wow. So Please right now I'm going to log in as an admin of this system. Uh, mind you, this system can um, allow multiple users. So even if they log in with different system, it can allow multiple users to log in even using a different system. So it allows that. And right now I'm going to log in as an admin. All right. Hi, admin. As you can see, he's even greeting the admin. I admin. Hi, admin. So what I'm trying to say is that um, there is no limitation to what you can achieve with Microsoft Access. Yes, you can do a lot of stuff. Even with what you can do with other programming languages, you can also do it with what with Microsoft Access. And that's major is why I did this video because people were like, ah, how can they order for? How can a customer order for more products? using access so and everything is in this world it's in this software so please if you want me to continue doing a video like this because in my next video i'm going to start creating a tutorial video on how i actually achieve all this so please once again click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon behind it all right so that's cool now so right now this is the um this is the admin page and this is the dashboard of this software i'm going to quickly introduce you to all the buttons that we have on this dashboard all right now the first button here is the settings button um as you can see this software is very flexible you can edit anything you can you know you can moderate anything you want so like on this first button on the setting button now we have assign new user yes this is where the admin assign another user like example if you want to register a user uh, in order to have access to this software this is where i'm going to do that and i'm going to select the username here 
based on the name registered in the employee so and i'm going to do everything and you can also assign privileges to the user for example if i want to register a person as a sales person or as a manager so when i register a person as a sales person it's going to take them to the world to the sales um portal of the software all right now let's talk about the second button here which is add new payment method like example now by default the payment method we have on this system is um bank um um bank um bank transfer online payment and um pos and cash you can also decide to, to add your own words payment method to it so it's going to show on the receipt it's very flexible all right now in this button again we have manage user what can you do with this you can decide to delete a user you can just decide what to delete a user let me delete this user now yes i'm going to delete you can see you are about to delete one record i'll just click yes all right so you can also edit the receipt greeting note like the note that appear on your receipt you can also like this one now is thanks for patronizing or see you next time you can decide to change it if you like and by clicking on this edit button you can change it and you know type whatever you want of which i'm going to talk about it in this video all right all right all right all right um you can also um edit the invoice greeting note as well just like the one you did for the receipt you can do that as well then this one edit category you know we have varieties of categories of product in the system you can try to delete it or edit it or you know like if i should go to the last record now this oil i can delete it the hit record is not going to be part of the category again all right now here we have the company info this is where you actually do the um general settings of this app like the name of the software like the name of, the name of your store or your pharmacy so and if you do this now it is going to appear on your receipt your address your website if you have it it's going to show your receipt and your phone number and um you know your bank um account name and details that is if you should put this one there now it is going to show on your um it's going to show on your um on your invoice so that is it now so please i'm going to blow this account details because that's my account number and i'm going to blow it so all right so let me just exit this um this particular form all right the next button i also have there is um a view category list yeah now with this now you can easily organize your um the categories of a product example now if i want to check for product that are under anti-diabetics if i just click on this now it's going to bring out all the products that are under anti anti-diabetics as you can see and it's going to bring out their, their current stock and their quantity sold can you see now so as you're selling it it's going to bring out the quantity sold if i want to check for product under let me just type um malaria malaria i can see anti-malaria when you click on it now it's going to bring out the product that are under what anti-malaria and their products i mean their details their cost the location and wherever so the reason for this is just because sometimes even let's say for a pharmacy store for instance now and you employ someone that doesn't even know anything about pharmacy or whatever so when somebody just working that okay i want to buy a particular drug or maybe i'm having malaria you can just uh, you can just go there to type anti-malaria then it's going to bring out the drugs that are under the anti-malaria and sometimes if the drug is not available like example now there are some drugs that are no longer available that they have in a current stock of zero let's talk about this drug abidec as you can see this abidec is having a current stock of zero so even if the customer come to ask for abidec and you discover that yes we don't have it again in store you can still tell the customer that yes we don't have abidec again but we also have other products that can perform the same what functions so that's why um, this app can group your what product in what according to their what categories now let's talk let's exit this page and um let's talk about the next button yeah find product that's cool now with this button you can easily search for your product you know by even typing just a letter or two let's say i want to search for prastamon now p-a-r you know it's going to bring out all those products that have that contain that spelling or that have that spelling p-a-r prastamon drugs as you can see now it's remaining two that's the current stock is two mmb prastamon is what is um 169 let me clear this search I can click one by one or I can click on the um, click search button. Um, let's say for instance, I want to search for Lunats. Lunats. L-O-N. As you can see, by clicking on L-O-N, it's bringing out those products that have the spelling L-O-N. 
L O N. Can you see now? Um, if I just put A now, you can see it's gonna bring out the lunat, and that's that's the only product I have that spelling L O N A. I can clear the search box by clicking on this button. That's about it now. And once you click on it, automatically it's going to select the product. If it is, you can, you can also decide if you want to add it to cart or not. All right now. Now I also want to talk about this next button that is here, which is what the calculator button. Wow. Now let me just tell you something now. The reason why I just have to include this calculator is just because you know I told you earlier that this software can allow multiple users. So I've never noticed um a pharmacy or a store you know they have like many many uh, many um sales person and they have to what, share calculator like ah uh, please pass me the calculator so now with this system now each user is going to have access to their own what personal calculator in case they want to do little addition or division or whatever and let me tell you something this calculator was built with what ms access alone yes microsoft access can do a lot now let me just try to check this out now eight times nine as you can see, just like a normal calculator, um, six times six. Let me just clear this. Six times six. Wow! I can decide to square it as well. I can cancel this one after the other. I can click on this one. Um, let's say forty-five divided by five. Wow! Nine. Nine square. I can click on this button. Nine square. It's one. Cos it's one. As you can see, it works like normal calculator. You know. So that's the power of what of Microsoft Access nine mode three. Yeah, that's zero. What about nine mode four? Nine mode four. That gives one, which is very correct. So as you can see now, everything is what is all intact, just like a normal um a calculator, and just like the one normal one you built with what HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. All right, now if you can stay tuned to my channel and click on the subscribe button. I'm going to release a video tutorial on how I actually achieved all this. So please, once again, if you haven't if you haven't clicked on the subscribe button, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button. And if you want to get my um updates, please always click on the what bell icon. All right, that's that about the calculator. Um, the button I also have here is on the new sales button. This is where you make your sales, and um, I'm going to talk about it in this system. Um, this is the income and expenses button, and uh, we also have the cart. All right, let me click on this sales button now. New sales. Wow. So this is where you make a sales. All right. Very cool and very simple. What I'm going to do is this now. Let's study a product. I want to set a product, which is what. Uh, let me just search for a product. Um, let me search for a product. But before I do that, let me quickly do this. I'll select the um, employee that want to sell this thing and uh, you can decide to leave this cash customer as a customer name by default or you can change the customer name if you like but if you do that it's going to appear your receipt then I'll click on the select date which is today all right now it is time to want to add the products to the cart for this customer now okay all right let me search for products um, let me try to search for um, Alabukun. Oh, as you can see, I wanted to sell Alabukun, but it's having a current stock of zero, so I can't sell it. Let me let me try to get this product as well, Amala. Now, once you click on this product, that's all. Then you come back to this arrow here and click on it. It's going to be added to the cart. Then you want you type in the word the quantity that that person wants to buy. As you can see, it's going to do the subtotal. Let's say this person wants to buy. Another product, um, P Alaxin, which is two before. P Alaxin, which is two. When I click on P Alaxin tablet, which is two before, is having a current stock of two. I'll come down to this place and I'll click on this arrow. As you can see, it has been added to that cart. Uh, let's say the person is buying one as well. As you can see, if the person is buying more than one, let's say two, it's going to multiply the price. As you can see now. All right, and it's it also track um the customer change like you can also be used to calculate the customer change like example now for this particular transactions now the total um the total sales is one thousand seven fifty and let's say the customer gave me two thousand naira as you can see now so automatically is going to what calculate the customer change that okay this customer is going to collect the change of what two hundred and fifty naira. Because he bought something of 1750 and he gave me 2000 error. 
so it's going to collect the change of what 250 and i can decide to select the, what the the payment method which is like let's say by cash for instance and that's cool that's cool all right now i told you like that you can also generate an invoice or a receipt for each transactions using a pos um tama printer all right now if i want to generate a receipt for this payment now i mean for these transactions now i'll just click on pos receipts wow as you can see this is for this particular uh, sales um i'm the one this is served by what your employee name, which is mr olu and um the poor customer bought P Alaxin and um, that's two of it and Amala, which is this. This is the net due amount paid is two thousand and he collected the change of what of two fifteen. So I can decide to what to print this using the Tama printer. And I you know when I click on it, I can select the printer I want. And you know, if you have your Tama printer installed, it's definitely gonna work very perfect. You can also send it to the um to the mail of the word of your customer, and that's using a PDF format and that's if you want to do this now that's when you um actually um write the customer email while you were doing the transactions now let me tell you something assuming i want the name of the customer to show on the receipt i'll just type let's say the name of the customer is mr james right now so mr james is here on the on this transaction and i want the name of the customer to show on the receipt when i click on pure receipt again it's going to write mr james on the word on the receipt as you can see now all right that's that about what, about the pos what received and let me tell you something of which we are going to do and you are going to get it very well now i want you to notice that this pr lagzin tablet we have a current stock of two and now i'm selling all the two now and also the amala we have a current stock of two and i'm selling one let us notice it when i click on save and exit let's see what's going to happen wow now let me go back again and search for that particular product um amala amala was two before and i sold one you can see now amala is now having a current stock of what of one let's talk about the pr laxin pr laxin tablet p alaxin p i think an iphone is there alaxin yeah now because pr laxin tablet was what was two before and i sold out two so it's having a current stock of what of zero. So as you are selling the product, it's going to be keeping out your what your stock. Okay, let's talk about that Amala once again. Amala was two before I sold one. Amala was two and it's having a current stock of what of one now. Let me go and sell another Amala now. All right, let me go back to new sales and I want to make a new sales now. And um, you know, and the booking date is still today. I want to sell another Amala and um you know i'll just come back to this place amala and click on it and um, then come back to this place and click on this arrow it's going to be added to the cart then i want to sell one because it's only many one right so that's all now i want to quickly um input this let's say the customer gave me um 150 is not collecting the change so automatically it's going to take that customer change is what is zero and you know as usual i can get the receipt for this transaction and not only that, you can also get invoice for each transaction. As you can see now, this is an invoice. And this is the bank details that you enter in the settings. If you don't want this thing to show, you can disable it in the settings. You know, this is the invoice. And um, you know, right, you can you can you, you can you can um generate invoice and you and you can also what generate what um receipts. Alright, that's that about that. Um that's about that. Like even in this particular place. I can decide to search for a product, let's say Amala. And when I click on it, it's going to give me the details of the product. Like, okay, Amala is the name and the price is um 150. The category is antibiotics. Location, I didn't just because I did not enter a location for this product earlier. That's why um it's not showing there. And the current stock is what is one. And despite this result, as I put it while I was registering the product, it's going to definitely show. All right, that's cool now. Amala is now Amala is having a coin stock of one, and I want to sell the one again. Let's see what's going to happen when I click on this now. Save and exit, and yeah, that's it now. Oh wow, let's go back to check for that Amala again now. Amala, A M A. Can see as you can see now, it's having a coin stock of what of zero. So as you are making your sales, it's keeping your stock. Then you are, this number of products you have and this number of products you have left all right that's very good based on these sales now this software 
has already performed many operations, which I'm going to tell you now, just with these sales alone, that's just what you need. Once you make a sale, it has done every operations needed. All right, let's talk about it now. That's about the sales. I can decide to come here to register um, the income and expense expenses. Let's say I want to register for income. When I click on it, I'm going to put the income here. I'm going to register the income and it's going to show on the income and expenses report. And I can also write the expenses. Let's say I bought fuel and whatever, other stocks. It's going to be recorded in this particular form. And um, once again, the cart now. Look at this cart now. Why it is here is just because you can also, you can easily monitor your sales and, you know, go back to each sales. And as an admin, you can you can view all those sales and you can still, like, maybe um, delete sales and whatever. But if you log in as a salesperson, you can't do that. All right, now, as you can see, if I want to check my last sales now, I'll just click on last record. And it's going to give me, I sold Amala. And let me go back to the previous one, which is Amala and Pialaxin tablet. So it's, I can easily go back to print the receipt as well and, you know, I can easily refer to what to the, to the sales. Yes, this last one as well. So that's that about what, about that. Even in the sales um, page, you can get a calculator to calculate something and whatever. So that's that about this card. You know, you can decide to search by date range. Like, I want to search for a particular sales. Let, let, let me click on today's sales alone. If I click on today's sales, see what's going to happen. It's only going to bring those. You can see it is two because I already made two sales today. One out of two. The one of Mr. James with P. Alazin and Amala. And the next one, if I click on next, it's only going to bring this now. This That's just the two. If I should click on next again, I can't go for that. It's going to bring a new form because I only made two sales today. So you can also search the sales by what? By a date range. Like I want to search from what? Um, from January to December. I'll just enter the search date. I don't know. I don't have any sales on January anyway. I don't have any sales, but I just, I'm just using an example. Let's say I want to search for a, a, a date of like, let, let's say, um, like, let's see it's um and um of um let's see 12 or let's see 11 for instance and 2019 from 8 of 11 and 19 to um let's say today which is what um 8 um 13 2019 so let's see what's gonna happen wow i only have just three yes which is was one i sold on this date, which is what 8 of 11, 2019, and when I click on next, definitely the one I saw today and um, the other one. So I can search by date range and I can also search by what a, a specific date. Like if I want to search for that 8 of 11 now, 11 2019, you can see just because I only have one sales on that particular date, that's why it's bringing out the one form here. Yeah. You can easily go back and print the receipt and do all sort of stops you want all right now we also have other button like you can also add new sales from here you can also view the category list from here as well antibacteria or whatever you can view it from here as well so that's that about what this um this dashboard all right now so as an admin now you can also what manage contacts yes this is where you actually add your user or your employee employee information this is actually where you add your user or your employee um, information right for example now I'm gonna add a new employee to this system I just click on add new employee and the name of this employee is um um let's see um dummy or let's say um dummy dummy all right the gender is um female I can select the gender here which is female I'm gonna skip every other stuff. The qualification, let's say it's um BSC and the phone number of my employee. Definitely I can write it there. Oh it's one zero four nine eight blah 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 blah. Right? I can also keep the address and you know the salary range because you can also use, use calculate the salary and the um, guarantor's name and other other information. I can also keep the details, the bank details of my employee. I can just upload the pictures of my employee here. Yeah? If I have a picture of my of my software I and mean, on my system rather, I can do that. Let me try to get a kind of random picture. I'm just gonna use any picture. That's not the name of anybody. But I just want to use a random picture. Let me see if I have a picture that I can use in this particular place. I don't know, no, 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 no. Oh. Picture of a girl is not here. Oh, 
Yeah, let's say this is a girl. Yeah, dummy. As you can see, a picture is already what uploaded. So um you can see something here now. The status is gonna be what active. You can change the status to what active and um and that's just that I I'm gonna save this now. The name of the employee is what is dummy. Um let's save it now. Wow, that's cool now. So and I'm also going to do one more thing again. I want to also add um my a supplier. Let me add a supplier now. Let's say the name of the supplier is um 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 let's say Marvin's 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 um let's say Marvin store anyhow store Marvin store and um address I can add the address number change the 3D do more Express Lagos State. All right, I just want to do that randomly. Like the phone number of the employee is very important as well. Let's say 08104 blah 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 blah. All right, and that's you can also add a mobile number and the note to this employee. I mean, to this supplier. Um, this is the supplier uh, page rather. So this is where I add my supplier information. I'm having a Marvin store now, Marvin's. As a supplier that I just registered to this system, I'm going to click on save and I can also add a new supplier if I like. All right, that's cool. So now, what's going to happen now? Let's check about it now. I also have this button here, um, supplier contact. This is going to keep the record of my supplier. Like this is just one I have before Magic Store, and this is Marvin Store now, and the address and the phone number. I didn't put the email and whatever another information. All right, now you have two supplier here now. That's cool. And uh, once again, I can also click on this button to get customer contact, like on each transaction. Like in the last one I did was um for um what's the name of that guy? I sold something for just now. Don't worry, let me just you can get it now. Yeah, Mr. James. As you can see now, the transaction I made for Mr. James is still here. If I, if I can still go back to it from this end, like Mr. James. Will. So if someone is really owing you money or whatever, like if someone is owing you money, if I say Dami is owing you money, for instance, no, it's not owing you money. Okay, then, then you have a customer that is owing you money. You can still search for the customer here. Like let's say that Mr. James now. James. Mr. James or whatever. If I just click on James, can you see now? So it's going to give me the transaction of James. And the, the other one I made today. I can still go back to it through this place again so that's the essence of that and um, what again yeah let's quickly talk about the products yes this is where you actually add um product to the store uh, let me quickly add a new product now um if i want to add a new product i'll just write the product name ah let me have the product let me have the product i don't really know drugs um, i don't know drugs but i think i know of um um, 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 um drug 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 i don't really use drug i don't really use drug um let's talk about um fancy i don't know if the spelling is actually correct fancy all right and i'm going to select my supplier name now because i just registered supplier in the system earlier which is marvin store i'll just click on marvin store then the supplier contact so for Marvin store and uh, what's the selling price of this of this particular product let's say the selling price is just 300 naira and what category I'm going to select the category from my category list and you can also decide what add your own category if it's no longer there now this is it now if you add a location earlier you can you can what decide what to add this drop to a particular location let's say the location is A5 you can also decide what add your own locations and whatever now the expiry date of this product now let's say it is going to expire um on the 30th of this month today is 13 and on the 30th of this month all right yes i also have this particular um um um, um this particular um um uh, form to fill this box minimum quantity what can you do with this one whenever you fill your minimum quantity let's say the minimum quantity you want to set for this product is what is is five 
They are trying to tell us that whenever this product gets to five, you should move to the what to the other what um, to the other stock, or you should move to the what out of stock what product. So whenever this product is up to whenever it gets to five, you know as you are selling it, it's keeping this it's keeping the stock the current stock. So it means that whenever the current stock gets to five, this is the minimum quantity you want this product to get. Not what to move to the what out of stock what product. So as you are selling this product down, whenever you whenever it's up to five, which is that minimum quantity that you have set. It is going to show on the word on the out of stock word product so you, that is to say you have to reorder this product as well all right now i'm going to leave this purchase price and the current stock i'm going to leave it yes because i haven't um, recorded what the, the the purchase entry all right that's cool about this product which is what fancy that's just it all right um i told you earlier that um you can decide to change your category if you like if i want to add a new category let's say i want to add the category as um um Let's see, let's see, um, fever, right? It's a new category, fever. If I save it, that's cool. And uh, I also add a new location. Let's see, I want to add like a, um, a six for instance. Um, I can try to do that, and I can once I do this now, I can use it for any product. Now, if I should click on this edit product here, let me go back to that last record, which is what my last record, which is fancy. I can try to change the product to the new category I just registered, which is what fever. When I press fever, it's going to optimize to fever. I mean, and I can try to change the location now. I'm having two locations now, which is A6 now. I can change it if I like and save it. So that's it. As you can see, it's very flexible and everything is done with Microsoft Access. All right, once again, I'm going to talk about the purchase entry now. I only registered the product, but I haven't registered the purchase because this software also track your purchases um, entry. Like it enables you to know the um the amount you are actually invested on a particular product and the actual profit you have made on the sales. So now with this now, the first button here is what the price list. I can you know your customer can search or ask for your price list, so you can actually send it to them or send it to their mail, and you can also what um download it as a PDF file. If I want to download this um this um uh, what's it called product as a PDF, I just click on download PDF. It's going to automatically be saved to our system. As a PDF, can you see now price list and PDF format? Yeah, if I click on it and save it now, it's going to appear on the desktop. Can you see now? That's it, it's already on the desktop. All right, that's cool. I can try to print as well in A4 format and whatever, and that's all. And I can send it to mail as usual, PDF format, and click OK. It's going to go to the mail you want. All right, now this is where I'm going exactly new purchase. If I should click on this button, new purchase, like you know, I just registered a product and and I want to register the purchase now. I just click on this. This product is a first time purchase. As means a reorder, you don't have to um, register a product every time. You know, the product is already there. You just have to make reorder. But now this is the first time what purchase. I click on first time purchase, and um, I'm gonna click on the purchase date, which today. All right. So what's the product I'm trying to register the purchase entry which is what fancy i just type f e n you can see when i put f e n it's showing out those products that have the same spelling f e n f e n but i'm talking about fancy if i should put z it's going to bring it as as that fancy now fancy is what having a cost price of what zero i mean the selling price i want to sell it is zero i mean it's 300 naira and it's also having a current stock of zero because i have not what i have not entered the purchase entry now I want to record this purchase entry, which is first thing. When I click on it now, then I'll click on this arrow. It's going to be added to it now. How many quantity down? I want to quantity of this first thing that I purchase. Let's say I purchase just 10 of it. 10. All right. So what's my purchase price? The purchase price is, well, let's say I'm selling it for 300 now. Let's say I purchase it for 200 Naira, for instance. So now it means I spent 2,000 Naira on the purchase of 10 fancy because I bought each of them for 200 Naira. And I, I bought 10 of it, then it means I spent 2000 naira for what for this fancy. I, I invested 2000 naira on fancy. Let's watch what's going to happen now. All right, that's cool. Now you can see now how much did I give this give to the supplier? Let's say I, I paid everything. You know, if you are sometimes if you are also owing the supplier, you can also track it so you know that yes, I'm owing this supplier, but now I'm not owing the supplier now. So even if you are owing the supplier, when you write the amount that is not up to the purchase, I mean the subtotal. It's going to tell you that yes, it's going to give you minus that yes, you are owing the supplier money and you can also refer back to this. That's why it's necessary to, to, to record your what 
that's why it's necessary to record your um, what's it called your purchase entry all right now let's talk about it now what am i saying i'm talking about um how to record a purchase and um, let's click, click on save and exit i bought 10 of it for 200 and per one and everything is total and that's fine i'll click on save and exit all right all right that's cool if i want to click on the purchase review like just like the sales i can go back to last record and you know do any other thing to this and you know that's just it and you can try to do some calculations and you know there's also a cal your calculator is going with you anywhere you are that's cool all right that's that about this and um we also have the um, the, the, the report sales and stock report yeah that's cool you can easily generate the sales reports with this software like if i want to click on today's sales now when i click on this button today's sales it's going to bring out all the total sales i've made today which is 1900 naira. you can see and it's going to break them down i sold amala of one i sold um, pialazin two i sold amala again one so uh, the total is going to appear here and the total quantity that, is, that i sold is what is four you understand it now so and i can also download this as a pdf documents it's going to be saved on my desktop you can see i already i already have one year before price list and you know the one i saved initially was price list and i can also decide to well, save this one too you understand if i should come back to it again now as you can see it's also showing on my pdf document all right um that's cool and i can send it to the mail as well then uh, now as usual i can also um find the sales report by date let's say i want to find the sales report by date which is what um let's say i want to search for this particular date 8 11 of 2019 it's going to bring out the sales report of that date <coughs> alone sorry so on this particular day i only sold um the product of 300 naira. i made it sales of 300 naira. like i didn't just I, I sold MME Plastamon 1, 200 Nera, I sold um, Paratex which is 50 Nera, I sold 2 which is 100 Nera, then the other one I didn't actually put the quantity, that's why it's not showing the price, so that's I made the sales of 300 Nera, and I can also decide to, to, to search by a specific date range, let's say I want to search from January to December, I can do that, but now I want to search from 8, 11, 2019, to what 8 which is um august 13 2019 i can try to write 19 instead of me writing 2019 it's gonna work all right now you can see now it's gonna sum up all the sales which is what 2200 now and you can see it's gonna bring out the sum of all the sales like the one i made on 811 can you see it there now it's just 300 naira don't forget but i didn't add the quantity to this one that's why it's showing total of zero but if you can do it yourself now, you can see it's adding everything up and everything is 2,200 now. So I can try to search my sales report based on my date range. Alright, that's cool now. The next button I have here is what? The stock report. Yes, it's keep your stock report like, example, I'm about to generate list of expired products. I told you earlier that this software can easily what? Generate um, um, list of expired products based on um the product expiring date now it is going to do this if a product is what is 30 days close to the expiry date so it's going to what it's going to it's going to bring out this list whenever a product is what 30 days close to expiry date that is to say it's going to show it up 30 days before the expiry date all right now let me click on list of expired products all right now product that is going to expire in 30 days time definitely this fence stick should be there because you know initially i registered the date I registered this product today and the expiry date is like on 30th of this month, which is less than 30 days. That's why it's showing on what on product the product that would expire in 30 days time. As you can see now, the following product will expire in less than 30 days time. So you can easily know whether you are going to return it to the um, manufacturer or whatever. So that's why this software is very important. All right, all right, all right. That's that about that. It can easily fetch out products based on expiry. As you can see now, it's painting them red in the background just because. The date is close to expiry date all right that's cool i can also view out of stock product yeah that's based on the other level you can see now this product now is already having a word the concept of one and other products as well you can see now that that fancy will never be there just because 
I I I I have ten of it and I have not even sold anyone. But you know, I set a I set a other level. Of, I mean, I set a minimum stock of what of five for that fancy. So whenever I set that product and it's less than five, it's definitely going to show. It's going to show on this what um out of stock what um product. All right, that's it now. So and I can also generate um the purchase report. Yes, like example, I want to click on today report now. Today purchase report now. Definitely it's going to pop up. Yeah, I only bought something of two thousand naira today. You hear what I'm now? I can also do so for other that. So it's going to keep the record of your of your purchase. You get now, so and it's going to break it down. I only bought fancy ten fancy for two thousand naira today. That's it. I can do that again by searching for the um uh, purchase report of a particular date and that's it. And the next button here is a profit and loss. Yeah, this is very important in this software. You track your profit and loss. If I click on it now, it's going to be telling you the profit and loss that you have made on each word. Um, sales of a particular product, of which I'm going to explain everything for you in details now. Just watch out. Just watch out. And you can also get it per product. All right now, so let us quickly talk about this in full now. I can easily generate income and expenses based on data. I don't have any income expenses for today. So that's all about that now. Let me go back to this dashboard again, once again. Don't forget, I just bought a product, Fensic, and I want to sell it. I want to start selling Fensic now. Let's assume that someone wants to buy Fensic. I'll come back to this place now. I uh, we just make a sales. This is the name of my employee. But I'm the one I want to sell this thing now. Dami. I'm I'm Mr. Olu now. I want to sell this product. I'm still the one that will sell it now. You can see now this name is also shown because I only have two employees now. Dami and Mr. Olu, the one I registered earlier. Alright now, so I want to sell the product which is fancy. I've just searched it here now. Fancy Z. I want I'm having a coin stock of 10. Let me click on it now. Fancy. Bam. When you click on it, just come back to this place and add it here. Alright. Let me watch. Let's watch something now. I want to just sell one of these, one of these fancy. Watch what's going to happen. Oh, sorry, I didn't enter. I didn't enter. Um, booking date. I have to get rid of this guy. Let me go back to my last record. If I see up here, it doesn't. It doesn't see here. Alright now, so I want to just sell this product now, fancy, I want to sell a new product which is fancy. I'm going to click on new sales. I'll go back to the shop by then. Now, this is what I need to do, I can just sell the booking date. It's very important, if you don't put the booking date, it's not going to be good. That's why the other one doesn't see. Alright now, so I want to sell fancy now. I'll just click on fancy, F, D, N, N, and Z. Now, what you can see is I'm the current stock of 10. When I click on it now, can you see now? And I come back to this place. I'm going to have to count how many of it now to sell. I want to sell just one now. One of them, see, just what's going to happen. Oh, wow, if I just search for that fancy again now, you will see that it's going to be remaining. Nine, yes, but I just sold one. Just watch based on this sales now. Let's go back to the profit and loss for that fancy. Let me quickly get the item about fancy. F E N Z I C. That's one. You can even copy the ID number of fancy. I've got to copy it. One one three three fancy. Now, if I should go back to the sales and stock reports and go back to the profit and loss, and I want to view the profit and loss per product, I click on it now. It's going to ask me for the ID of the product, and I've already copied earlier. I paste it here. Now, you can see something now. It's telling me that what because I bought this fancy for 200 naira per one and I'm selling it for 300 naira, I only sold one out of it and I have made a profit of what of 100 naira. Simple. I sold one out of it, I made a profit of what so easily I can easily what um track my capital and what and my what and my profit. Like okay now, this is this is the total I I only invested 200 naira on one of these things that I sold. Let's watch out again and this is the cost price of the one fancy. I'm selling it for 300 naira. Let's go back and sell another fancy again. Let's sell another fancy again. Alright, let's go back to it and sell another fancy again. Alright. Just want to get the scope of how this thing works. Um, do yourself fancy and fancy and fancy. 
see. Don't forget the booking date. You have to put it there. Um, all right. Now go back to fencing now. Fencing. All right. I'll take only take the booking up nine now. But this time around, I have to sell. Like let's sell, let's sell three of it now. Or let's sell, let's sell um, four of it. Yes. Four which is one thousand two hundred naira, and um, I'm going to save an exit. Can you see now? Let us go back to that profit and loss again now. For that place, you will see what's going to happen now. Uh, we we'll missed the high number earlier. Wow! You can see now. It's telling me that what now, based on the sales of five fancy. I bought each of them for 200 and that I invested 200 naira times 5 which is 1000 naira on these 5 pens that I have sold. So that is now telling me that what based on these 5 pens that I sold, I already have a profit of 500 naira. So it is calculating my cost, I'm getting 100 naira per word per set of the product now because I have sold 5. It's telling that you can't count that I have sold this what is 5 and this is the total profit that I have made on that 5 pens. Are you getting my point now? So. You can see now the total the selling price is what 15 that is 300 naira times 5 because I've sold 5 of it now and the total money I invested on this 5 pence was what was 1000 because I bought one for 200 naira so it's telling me that what I have made a profit of 500 naira because I'm getting 100 naira for each what sales let's talk about it again I want to give you something again one more time I want to sell fancy again I want to sell fancy again all right now Alright, I'm gonna go back to Frenzy again now. Frenzy. Can you see now? I can come to again and you know. I want to sell just let me sell. Um, I want to sell five again. Yeah. So definitely now can you make the request of five or I'm gonna sell five again? Now, let me talk about this is a profit and loss. I'll click on this now. When I place the item of the fancy, wow, can you see now? It's telling me that I have made a profit of what of one pound uh, on the sales of what of ten fancy. Can you now see now that cost price now is already two thousand because that was the cost price of what of the ten fancy guys that changed to down there. And automatically it's telling that yes, I've made a photo of one thousand. The total that I made is what is based on the selling price, which is still on there. And um, I've invested two thousand on this, and I've made a photo of one thousand. I can decide what my total has been. Invest this my two thousand right here. You are like, and this is the breakdown of what is still down. As you can see now, the quantity so the current stock is now ten. I mean, the quantity stock I stock ten and I've sold ten, and my current stock was zero. Unit selling price, unit cost price, total. Price, you know, that's just that about it. And I can say, I want to pack this up. Yes, I have to pack it up. Let's start it now. It's not a bad query. All right, that's that about that. Um, that's all about this what this software. Now, before I actually exit, uh, I have to log in as a salesperson. So let me also quickly create a user account. And before I proceed again, I told you earlier that you can actually change the note on your receipt. Let's quickly do that now. On each of my transactions, I already have a, 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 a sales. Area. I told you can you can sell um, as many products as you like on a particular sales. Let's say for this product, now, I'm having a receipt of this now. Hey, look at this product, very more long. That's cool. Um, look at something now. Um, I want to change this note. I don't like this note on this receipt. Thanks for patronizing us. See you next time. If I want to change this note now, let's get back to it. I'll go back to my settings. I'll go back to um, edit the notes. Time to partner. You'll see you next time. I'll to change it. I'll just change it to what? Um, let's see. Just thanks. Thanks, Lilo. Thanks, right? Um, I'll just see. Goose.
is in, um, in good condition and not turn it or something like that. I want to show my receipt. It looks saved. Um, but that's cool now. If I should go back to this my receipts, let me check that receipt again now. Uh, receipt. As you can see now. Thanks. Good purchase in good condition. Uh, not I use I am I am I can easily go back to the as well. Mm -hmm. Can you see now? So it's good. Smart card. Oh. Update it all right. So I'm gonna go back to this now. You can see now. I click on that receipt again and I'm gonna get can you see it now? So and it's also gonna be changed on all my transfer. Let's go back to last record. Then you see that we get received now. Can you see now? And this for the conditions and not turn it. You understand? So that's how to go about it now. Alright, so that's how about it now. And once again, I want to quickly uh, add a user. I told you you can also assign a user. And I've already registered the employee name already. Now let me quickly add the person as a user. The person name is Dami. The employee name is Dami. And uh, what's the username that I want to use for this particular login? Let's see if I want to use any more. Uh, D A M. You are? D A M or any name. Can you use any name? And the password is, let's say, something like this. And I want to assign the post as an admin. I want to assign the post for this dummy. Now, that's what. I want the post to be a sales policy. That's cool. I'm going to save record. I'm going to save record and let's see it. And, uh, that's the about that. Uh, if I should log out now, I want to log out. I want to log in. As soon as possible. DAM, don't forget how to find it. Username, the password. Wow, can you see now? On the sales um, portal, as a sales person, you can see sales person. This is showing the sales person. The, po the sales person cannot do any other thing except for making sales. Yes, just to make sales alone, that's it. Now you can you don't have access to all that feature of the advanced report, just to make sales and anything the sales person is doing, the admin will be saying it there. You can also track the user login and whatever. Now the sales person can also make the sales as usual. Um sell any product, have access to the own calculator as well. Understand? And uh, you know, I can sell product and in this case I'm gonna my name is Tammy and the sales person is Tammy and I want to make a sales and you know I can make a sales as well. Let's say I want to sell the product. Um, I want to sell the product, right? I want to sell the product. Let me keep you sell. Let's say that we want to sell seven kilos, which is one before. I just click on it as usual and come down to this place and sell seven key, which is one. And, uh, we want to sell um, a bony key. A bony key. Right? So happy here now. Let's see. We want to sell two of it now. Alright, now that's that about it now. I'm not going to customize what. Let's see this. So that's it, it's 1050 and customize the customer deal. That means 1500. So he's going to calculate the customer achieve, which is 250. And that's that now. I'm going to save an exit and that's all. Yes, that's all. Alright, now Dami can also record income and expenses. I mean, the sales person can record income and expenses, just as usual. And, um, you know, but in this place now, you can never make any changes to this. You can't edit anything here. You can't edit anything. You can't do anything here. Just to check. You can't edit anything. It's not editable. You understand? You can only view receipt of whatever, but you can't edit anything here. That's it. I don't log out. I don't log out. I want to log in as an admin as well. NCR S O F T to three. As you can see now. All right now. I'm here as the admin now, and um, I want to check the sales, last sales. Come back here to check my last record. 
as you can see now my last record is Yeah, seven key and I want the key and the blue song by what Danny. I was not going to sell it after what you have and it's showing here. But you click on the receipt now, you see that South by is going to be showing by what Danny because it was not as soon as you So that's that about this one software. Please, um, once again, please, I told you this is my first video and I'm going to be releasing a tutorial video on how I achieve all this. Please, I want you to please leave your comments on this video. If you want me to do anything or work on anything, your comment and once again please not to get me going please subscribe to my channel click on the subscribe button and also um, click on the bell icon so in my next video i'm going to be placing a tutorial video on how to um, do a lot of stuff apart from microsoft passes i also have a lot of um, training to offer so please once again click on subscribe and uh, thanks for watching this video god bless and please subscribe to my channel See you next time. Bye-bye.